So, sin. Uh, I'm on page 13 now. My manuscript. So, sin. I'm going to be putting it up in this page. Page 14. Sin is anything that is contrary to the order of the universe and that doesn't match up with reality or what what how things should be and uh, so that's a big jump but I, I hope just just bear with me here in my, in my thinking okay so uh, if you could just assume that sin is a wrong okay something that's untrue so, here in the Bible, uh, Matthew, Matthew, eighteen, Matthew, eighteen, verse fifteen. Ah. Uh, Put in the whole, put in the whole verse here. Now, when we're talking about, when we're talking about um, getting three people to be witness to our thoughts, okay? It's called multivariable analysis in science. It can be used as against the triangulation specifically against three people of high confidence who have communicated their ideals where the overlaps occur for the regression A and B can be defined. The overlapping digital framework should be analyzed due to the likelihood of great wisdom. Conceptualized as something is being manifested by something where that which is knowing is decided on to what is likely the manifestation in the future based on an actor or independent of action. Which is a cloud of networks of action, cloud of networks of conservation, and likelihood of manifestation. All right, so I think I've, I think I said this. Now you want to get, see, so I have John Sally Jane here, right? I have John Sally Jane. I have three parties. This is this is ancient wisdom, and it can be read here in Matthew. If your brother sin against you, go and tell him his fault. Okay, so that's why you that's why you seek out advice. It's you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. So your errors, okay? You needn't wait for someone to come here to be witness to your own faults. You can shortcut this, okay? You can shortcut this. This is how to help your brother. But you can help yourself by seeking out those witnesses of reality. Every charge may be spatched by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to tell them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Okay, that stuff doesn't matter to what we're talking about. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, this is very complex, okay? So whatever is real in the moment shall be real that of which in the future. Okay? I again to you, and that would be more so if you have competent witnesses to assist you with this. And if they agree with what is on earth 
then it will likely then it will be true in heaven, which is the future reality, which is true. And for there is my name, there I am among them. So the reality and the order of the universe can be found amongst witnesses of the truth. So that's pretty deep there. Um, but you can find the order of the universe amongst competent individuals. So this is a very powerful mechanism for making a good decision. Okay. And I just recorded this whole thing with this uh, screen here. Right? That's kind of weird. I shouldn't have done that. So again, here's how it looks like. The quote of the Matthew verse in the commentary. Alright, so. Next. We're getting really complicated here now. If something does not manifest itself in reality, why does one become concerned with it? No, I don't understand these numbers. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to look at the original. Because first I wrote this all by hand and then I had my editor uh, help me put it into physical copy. Okay, if something's not true, why are you even uh, considering it? <sighs> you know, you write this stuff, but you know, you're in a certain frame of mind while writing it. And, uh, yeah, I'm really struggling with this here. I have to skip this one. I don't know. I don't know. And I've been recording without using the microphone. The brilliant guy. What a brilliant guy. Bye. <sighs>